Hi, this is Rick, and in this section, we're going to be looking at adding a DID and routing it properly. So let's get started. Um, first, we need to make sure we're in our BC Dial administration menu, and we're going to go to inbound. Okay, now in inbound, you see the sub menu, and you notice that we have for the in groups, for the DIDs, for the call menus, and for the phone groups. Okay, so let's go to show DIDs, and you can see there's a default and a test local one already. So we're going to add a new DID, and we have it right here. This is the one we're going to use. Now remember that the portals have to be pointed to the server correctly, so it's a two-step process. Make sure that you're in your carrier's portal or Ethos 3 portal um, that you point the numbers to the corresponding server. So this is going to be our test DID, and we're going to submit. Okay, when you put the DID extension, no spaces, just area code and phone number. All right, we're going to make sure it's active. Now, for the sake of testing, uh, we can route it to different places, but we're going to route it to a phone. Uh, you can route it to an in-group. We can route it to a call menu if you want to make the IVRs, and we'll go this into a little bit later to, to the call menus. Or you can route it to an extension. Let's say uh, I put 9305551212, then, and whenever this phone number hit the server, it would automatically route it to that extension. So, just for all sakes and purposes, we're going to put phone, and phone extension is right here. So, we're going to put 6000 so I can ring it to my phone that I already created. Uh, server IP, we're going to set it here. Make sure that this is the server IP that the SIP phone that you're pointing it to is registered at. Okay, from this uh, we're not going to worry about anything else. The purpose of the test and we're going to submit. Now, what we will do now is <coughs> let's see if it works. So let me open up my Bria and let me go ahead and select, I have account 6 which is the account 6000 and I have my other account so I can make a phone call, so I can make a ring from one to another. So we're going to put 855 And let's see if it shows. So I'm going to call this number. And as you can see, I got an incoming call from this particular number on my account 6, which is my extension 6000. So which means it's working. Okay, so now if we needed to route this to an in-group, uh, then you will come in and go in-group. And then you will come down here and where it says in-group ID, we would actually put the available in-groups and we want it to be routed to the Texas callback number. And we submit. And we have now routed a DID.